Alright guys, whoopsie daisies. Alright, so before we start the video, shout out to Gearwrench Modding again. Some of these amazing mods are from them, the F750 from the last video, which as I'm filming this, that video is up right now. Just posted it a few hours ago, or a few minutes ago, actually a few seconds ago. But, these people made everything possible in this video. Great people, amazing, love them. Let's get into the video. Alright, so we are back here at the RV park. We have the RV over there. Not that a lot. We have RVs over there. New person came in yesterday. It's right now snowing. But I had, um, the boys are not here today. Optic and a Frosty, they are off on a vacation. So, they told me that I could be, um, co-owner along with them. So, basically, all three of us own that dealership now. So, we're going to head over there. They got some new stock, and in fact, yesterday, the builder guys came in and built an entire new dealership building. I'm not going to show you guys. You guys are just going to have to wait until we get there. I'm trying to do this without running into anything. It's probably not going to end well. But we have some new things. Before they left, uh, they left like late afternoon yesterday. They came here, um, told the guys what they were supposed to do. And then we apparently got some new stuff, and we got that, which is a new setup. Um, Optics Jeep is still here. It's because he went with uh, Frosty and Frosty's truck. Frosty's truck is actually back at the place. They took um plane there, so they got like an Uber to the place. But we got a new Nissan Titan Warrior, 8-inch lift, crazy big wheels, Grizzly Creek Camper, black and red. And then we've got a black and red bad boy golf cart in the back. Um, This thing, this is basically just a black and red theme. Also, you guys are probably saying a lot. Yeah, this is all. You're just basically copying Spencer TV literally exactly. Well, not exactly. This dealership is first of all in a different area. But I am copying him. Yes, I will admit to that. Somebody commented on one of the videos saying, Okay, so you're basically just copying Spencer TV. And I'm like, yeah. And I admitted to it in one of the videos. So if you guys go back, you could see that one of the uh, videos has me saying oh spencer tv doesn't need a shout out because i literally have a thousand subscribers and he has like 20 times the amount that i have but uh yeah actually he has 200 times something like that but we have this new dealership here new stuff we still have the uh, gmc in here still have the hellcat this is um frosty's hellcat it's still in here he wanted to sell it this gmc got in yesterday we got two ford raptors let me show you this, these both have this exact same in common. They, they're they basically the exact same truck. One's yellow, one's white, and then they have the exact same little rainbow light theme. Um, we have these new K&M Outlanders 6x6s with a Yeti cooler here on the front. We actually have a few back here in the new area. We have a white one, we have a red one, and then we have an orange one. This orange one is actually going to go with that truck that's in the paint booth right now. We actually have to put a wrap on it, so that's why it's in the paint booth. But, uh, yeah, it's this orangey looking, it's like this orange Chevy Silverado. Don't mind this stuff. We already have all the wheels and the lift and stuff on it. It's just that we have to get that a wrap on it, and then it'll be all done, and then she can go to sale, and then that thing will be, the orange one will be sold as a package. This one was saved for me, because obviously it matches my Chevy and the Jeep. But, we have these here on the lifts. Oh yeah, shout out to Frosty. He didn't actually make this building. He found it online. And I honestly thought this was a private building. So thanks to him, we have this building now. But I should probably close the back on this. Because it's not good for it to be like that. Because there could get paint damaging on that. But I don't know what today's going to be. I don't know what we're going to do today. Not many people are probably going to be coming in with an RV. I don't know, though. But, when we truly... Let's go back to the RV park quickly. Because I am thinking, maybe next video or in, like, a video or two, we're going to make that into a mud park. Because, I mean, we have golf carts. They could take the golf carts on there. It's probably not a good idea to take the golf carts on there. But I was thinking, we could, like, give them vehicles, like, actual, like, trucks. Besides golf carts, like, drive around, like, side by side, something like that. Or, like, a pickup truck like this. Not like not like this exact pickup truck. Something a lot smaller, but, yeah. We've got the Earth Roamer parked over here. This baby's a behemoth. I love it. 
It's already dirty thanks, thanks to the snow. We got the uh, Jeep inside here. I sold the uh, Corvette, sadly. We have the Ram still. I was actually thinking about getting a, a work truck. And here, let's see, guys. Let's see what stuff there is. So this actually is linked to the dealership that um I now co-own. So let's see some things that we can get here. It's maybe like a work truck. Or like a service truck for around the um, RV park. Now there are these Mega Rexes, but I think that's just a bit overkill. Um, you know what we could do? We could have the boys um when they get back from their vacation. Or you know, I'll do it myself. So I'm thinking as a service truck, we could get. No, that's a 911. Never mind. <laughs> we get the K50. How about that. So let's look at some customizations we could put on this bad boy. Okay, perfect already. That's amazing. Put it on some hostiles. Um, this is literally the perfect work truck. <laughs> literally already, and we've barely even done anything. Airbags, yeah. Uh, we don't need the go lights. They're just ugly. We could get a light bar. We definitely need attachers because this thing is a work truck what would we do without them premium bucket seats okay i guess uh sony 8 inch jbl audio system gotta get the cam locker toolbox exhaust tip tso obviously uh no pew pews no pew pews promise you where's this where's sam at oh my lord there's sam adams in there <laughs> i'm putting that in there i don't care also, if you guys do not know what a CB is, it's a community band radio. There you go. Don't tread on me. Obviously, we gotta have those plates. Now, the question is, though, what color scheme do we want to go with? Now, I feel like we could go with, like, a gray. And then with, like, a main color, we could go black. So we could go, like, a line X here. And then we could go here, like, a midnight black. Oh, dude, that looks perfect. Actually, wait, no, I think it's the other way around. It's the other way around. My bad. There we go. And I don't know if you guys like this or not. I personally like black rims on my vehicles. Nova says that he doesn't like black rims. And you know what he else, know what he also says? He also says that he doesn't like black track bars. And I need you guys to comment down below. If he's crazy or what. Because personally, I think he's a bit cuckoo in the head. But I mean, that's really just what I'm thinking. Obviously, we have to get my favorite color there. I don't know whether we want to go with a flatbed. Or if we want to go with the normal bed. Oh, the normal bed looks so much better. Okay, we have to go with the normal bed, boys. Alright. This is what happens when you give me permissions to buy stuff. Alright, um, we'll grab this behemoth, because it's the only thing here that can really tow stuff, because the jeep, not meant for towing. That thing doesn't even have a gooseneck on it, that thing doesn't have, that thing has a gooseneck on it, it's just, actually, never mind, it doesn't have a gooseneck on it, because it's got that big old bed on it. A lot of you guys might have thought that that Chevy was a service truck. No, it's my personal truck. Also, look at this, we gave Frosty a little decoration for his mobile home. As you can see, he left his truck here, he's got his golf cart, we've kind of parked his golf cart off a bit, but... Maybe in the next video we could go on um, camping within the snow, maybe. Optic was actually going out of roleplay. Optic was trying to get me to um, do a uh, video going camping in the snow. And I'm like, eh, I don't really like that idea. And he's like, ugh. But, um, guys, if you join the Discord in the link in the description... Um, you guys can ask me some Q&A questions because for a thousand subscribers, I'm doing a Q&A video. And I want to get just as many questions as possible. And now it's not going to be a live stream, it's just going to be a video of me answering your guys' questions. No personal questions, no like, stuff like, oh, what's your real name? What's Actually, some of you guys might know my real name because I've said it in a couple of videos before. I think those videos are deleted by now. But the Chevy should be in the back of the dealership. Oh, there she is. There's the K50. 
Yeah, obviously I can't get an Uber right now because Uber's not going to really go well if you have a snowstorm going on. I could have probably just walked over here, but obviously I'm very lazy. Let's grab about the K50. This baby looks fire. All that, all that lettering, man. That blue. And we can lift it to... This is without the lift. That's the funny thing, is this is without the lift. And it still probably won't even be able to tow a trailer. This is with the lift. We're going to just leave the lift up the entire time. Also, the funny thing is, guys, is I'm a Ford person, and I have Dodges, Jeeps, and Chevys. I mainly actually have Chevys, surprisingly enough. Optics, I bet you guys, if you guys looked in the comments when this video was up, Optic will have probably commented, nice Chevys. He said that on one of my videos. But... Hope y'all have been enjoying the series. I've been seeing that we're getting 100 views in at least a video. So that's good. I hope that this series gets to continue. But, yeah. Let's take this baby back, get it unloaded. Uh, let's build a new shed for my own house. Because those sheds are for around the, RV, the, around the place kind of thing. This thing's going to get unloaded into the sheds, though. Because this is for around the RV place. But I'll see you guys when we have got that shed all built and everything is away and all organized because it's a mess out here and I don't want anything really sitting out. So any like trucks like Frosty's pickup truck is going to go in this shed right here. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I am done with that or when I'm just done building the shed and we'll get rid of, we'll put everything away on camera. Alright, we are back. As you can see here, it's been a bit. It's not snowing anymore. It's actually been a couple of weeks. I think it's been like a month since that bit was uh, filmed because, oops, because of the fact that it has been really, really nice out lately. So I put away the uh, trailers and they're now in the shed along with the uh, K50. So, yeah. Alright. So, we need to put away some things. I built the new shed. Let's go on ahead and show you guys here. Also, you guys might have saw Novus was uh, playing FS. But, as you can see over here, you can see this huge tan shed. That is for my stuff. The Jeep is still going to sit in there. Actually, no, we'll put the Jeep in there. Or, you know, we'll leave the Jeep, because I, I, there's no point in putting it in here. If, yeah. I had to get a big shed. I actually had two other blueprints for some smaller ones, but the Earth Roamer wouldn't have fit in those due to its pure size. So, yeah, the Earth Roamer might get its own little uh, cubby here, its own little door. So, yeah. I'm going to shove the uh, Dodge over here along with the uh, K50. Not K50, gosh. <laughs> Along with the, um, K5500. I keep forgetting what this thing is called. There's too many Chevys. I gotta get more Fords, guys. Comment down below what Fords I should get. We have plenty of Fords here that I could buy. I'm thinking if I ever buy a Ford, it'll probably replace the K50. I love, not this K50, then the, actually no, probably this K50 it would replace this one. Or it would replace the Jeep, because we really don't use the Jeep for anything. This baby though, this is like the most like, luxury, this is glamping to the maximal. Guys, the funny thing is, is Earthrumor just, the real Earthrumor company just came out with a brand new Earthrumor, and it's got a Chevy body on it, and it's worth like a million dollars. It's crazy. It's crazy to think that somebody would pay a million dollars to live in a house. That's for the yeah, hitch in the back. This thing does have bags on it, which is probably the worst idea they could have done. They gave me access to a huge vehicle that has bags on it, and it has tracks. Come on, you stupid button. This button's really sticky. Okay, there's that one. What about this? There we go. They're just a bit sticky. Because it's a brand new shot, obviously. 
Um, maybe we could sell the uh, Jeep for that one of those Ford Raptors at the shop. Let's go to the shop, and we actually have to pick up that uh, quad anyway. So we'll end off the video by picking up the quad and maybe um selling the Jeep off. I don't know, man. I really like this Jeep. It's great for, like, just driving around, having fun. As you saw in the, uh, two videos ago, I was, a uh, I used this thing to go pick up my new truck, but when you really think about it, though, this thing is a beast. I might just, like, keep it here as, like, a shop that I, or, what? As a truck that I use, like, just around this place. Or, like, we can use it as, like, a thing to use around this place. Because I really do love this thing. It's it's an amazing vehicle. It's just that it's not good for towing because of the fact that the gooseneck is so far back into the truck. If it was, like, right here, or maybe, like, right here in the middle, it would be better. But they scooched it back so much that you can't even really use it. I'm thinking we'll buy the white one because yellow just looks like you peed all over it. So, let's go in the back. Since I work here... I actually had a discount. I don't know why, but they had brought these chairs in. Not that. I don't want to go in there yet. We still haven't gotten the wrap on that thing yet. They haven't delivered it to us yet. I'm really mad at them, so I'm going to have to see when they're going to do that. Those quads over there are done. I have to take them off of the lift. Why am I going that way? I have to take it out of the store, because this is the only way to actually get it out, really. Normally, to load up your vehicles, you would actually put the vehicle in here, and then we would drive the item out of the service door, and then you would do it that way but let's pull out the raptor i don't know if the raptor can uh, hold that baby in the back yeah this, these two are packaged this looks just so wrong but at the same time it's a gmc it deserves it this thing sounds like a mean machine the one thing is though about the raptors is that here's what i'm going to tell you guys is that they don't they don't really have like a hitch on them so it will, it will kind of, like, replace the Jeep, but the Jeep will still have a hitch on it. So, it, I mean, the Jeep could still, like, tow to bumper pulls. But that, 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 um, Jeep XJ, I might have to cop myself one of those. This thing's be looking mad fine, bro. You know what I should do to surprise Optic? I should customize this Jeep. New video idea? Let's see if this thing will fit in the back. I don't think the bed is wide enough on this Ford to hold this behemoth. This is what happens when you get a really big quad. This is what happens. Give me a second, I'm getting a text. Alright, uh, let's see if we could- actually, we cannot fold up the tailgate. This thing is not actually squatting that much. I would have expected it to squat a lot, considering how much weight is on the back. It does definitely slow it down, though, that's for sure. Alright, we got to, um, we really need to fix this thing. I think this thing could be, like, maybe in around the uh, place. You know what this could be used for? This could be used to take people around the RV park. If they can't use their golf carts, if they can't just walk like a few feet to use their golf carts. Or this will be for like the luxury people. People with like, if somebody pulls up with an earth roamer, I'm going to be laughing my butt off. Because I would, I would love to have somebody pull up in a earth roamer. Like, yo. I, if, they, if somebody pulled up with an earth roamer, I would literally pull mine out of my, out of this shed over here. Just to show them that I own one. Let's put this stuff away here, and then we will end off the video. But, uh, yeah. Beep, beep. The one thing that is funny about this is this thing doesn't actually have a horn. Actually, it does. It's just a really quiet horn. Considering this thing is a 6x6, I would expect them to put a train horn in. <laughs> actually, you know what? Now I want to put a train horn in this. I have the dumbest ideas that come in the dumbest ways. Man, am I dumb. <laughs> but that's that's what that's why you guys like me, right? <laughs> um, lights, there we go. Turn off the lights. 
This thing also has a little baby horn. What is up with these vehicles and having baby horns? I just realized I have two white vehicles, two um antimatter blue vehicles, and now I've just got to get another gray and black vehicle. And that will be all good. Oh my lord! I think this thing also has a train horn. Oh, th I love this horn. Guys, we're going to end off the video by honking this horn. If you guys don't know what that horn is, it's meant to be a General Lee horn. Hope you all enjoyed today's video. And let's feed the dog first. I don't think the dog has been fed in a while. Come on, Ranger. Alright, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Good boy, doggy.